Shit, it's my time to shine. Jungle Beats. Ha. Australia's plug to the best hip hop and music in the world. Out here, about to re record a reaction to the third Death Grips album. No Love Deep Wet. It's got a dick on the cover. A big old schlong. Looks like my dick. Does it really? Looks very similar to my dick when it's hard. Very similar size. That's a bit weird. Like, the girth is like a little bit bigger than the knob in a way. Alright. That's some information dick. that we all know now. <laughs> you may have not wanted to know, now you know. Sorry, Bob. Shit. <laughs> People don't realize she actually watches. And this is within the first 20 seconds, so. Oh well. Anyway, uh, we. we, we <laughs> We've reacted to the Money Store, Ex Military. I really fucking like the Money Store, and Ex Military I wasn't a big fan of, but I loved a lot of individual tracks on there, especially track four. Yeah, I'm more of a fan of the Money Store than Ex Military, I believe, mm -hmm. if I recall correctly, uh, but still I find their music quite quaint and um, hard to get into, yeah. but I'm open to more, and I want to hear more. I consider it's myself a fan now, and I'm really looking forward to constantly visiting all their stuff, because so we're going to try and get through all their ish. We've got a 13-song album. No love, deep web. Track one, come up and get me. Come. So we've heard this before. We know this sound. Yeah. Oh. That's so hot. with that it gives me prodigy vibes do you ever listen to prodigy not familiar oh uh, well it sounds obviously not like prodigy but some of the sounds they're using there reminds me a lot of sort of middle sort of time like after battle lamb sort of era prodigy so i got that sort of vibe i fuck with the vocals and the switch up with the vocals it's cool i fuck with it i fuck with the production trancy electronic kind of spazzy beat yeah it's nice uh, the vocals, once again, is, is the main thing that's the biggest hurdle for me in Death Grips. I feel like I should take the time to listen to the, the Rap Genius one day, but I just haven't yet. around the sounds yep and it's, it's definitely cool. it's definitely a bit more electronic on this album I feel like it's it's not as chaotic but it still is I don't know we'll see we'll see how we I go feel, I it. feel it's like more structured chaos yeah yeah it's more structured but I, I love those spacey kind of vibes I got <laughs> that, that I love when they do shit like that mm. they just hit you it's like oh that shit was good You can't just 
Christmas, this sick transmission huffs your brain Until you will and forget I ever knew you Too many hoes in my motherfucking ear Asking if I know where my motherfucking fear Bullshit, medical, traffic flow Rip the track to a book You wear a book while I check my phone Who's there? It's as the road Music drums, I am not Damn! Down up! Spiral! Staircase! Widen your heel! Chaos in the brain, let my blood flow, make my blood flow through your mind. I feel like I was angry. And like, we were in the middle of a war zone. And we were just killing motherfuckers, and we weren't feeling no emotion. Just wrecking motherfuckers. What an angry track. That's one of, I want to say that's one of my favorite tracks by Death Grips. That was fucking dope. Uh -huh. That was really fucking cool. That's top five. I wasn't even fucking dancing around. I was just fucking feeling it. Just envisioning shit. Woo. God damn. I like that a lot. The drums killer. I'm not hearing a lot of words here, but he said my oxidized goat shaft. What the fuck could he possibly be talking about? His dick. Why is it oxidized? Why is it go? I don't know. Well, isn't all your dicks oxidized? Like if, your dicks don't, if your dick don't have oxygen, like well, it. your whole body has oxygen. Yeah, so it's basically saying like his dick's like a living vessel, like it's oxidized. Fuck, oh, man. And it's like a goat because it's got like it's like animals. Fuck. I just, I just, I just hear that line is like, his dick's just fucking hungry for fucking meat. It's a fucking living, breathing vessel that's pulsating every second that it needs to fuck. Hey guys. Hey. Hey, fair enough. Or maybe he means something completely different. Maybe. <laughs> I'm a fool. A fool. But that I track was dope. That's my favorite track so far. Honestly, it was. It was. I like that one. I enjoyed that time. I'm liking. I'm liking the direction of these albums. Like this is only the third Death Grips album we've heard, but. The difference in sound for each three is def very different. Like you I would say very different. I think very different. Mm -hmm. Very different? Very different. I would say different. No, I'm getting... I'm working they quite... Because normally when you see an artist go from album to album, there's only slight changes. Like, for example, go from Jay-Z's, Blueprint, Black Album, and... Um, okay, I see what you're saying. I get it. Like, you know, it's sort of... Sort of but this, like... I feel like this big... The this theme of changes. the album is different. It's more like... The production theme is more yeah exactly trans electronic yeah I feel like it's very this is fucking so different to the money story. <laughs> No privacy, I'm trying to survive, but I'm dying. Travel with me, pull off the lights, take your life, and ride the ball. Don't come and have no smoke in your head. Fight, trap, meltdown. I'm not here, I'm full of dogs. My throne's the street, you go to sleep. I kill myself, I feel no pain. I'm obsolete. I love the fucking hi hat on that track. I love the brush and the hi hat. The fucking sick. I want to touch on. They're letting their vocals do a lot. They're making their vocals more clear and louder. Rather recently, mm. and I think they. I've tried to listen here, and they're using a lot more metaphors. To des they're using metaphors, and I'm listening to them, and to, I think to describe what it's like to have suicidal thoughts. And I, I don't know if I'm right, but it was interesting hearing their metaphors. Very dark and vivid. See, I took the thing of it like the tracks of World of Dogs. I took it as a way of being like, 
the world's full of people who are just eating each other. So in a way, like the life you're living, it's they're putting it as the same as suicide. Like you're committing suicide by mm. living the life you're living. That's the message I got. Like they're looking at the world and being like, this person's got a suit gone. This this person's doing that, and they're just like, it's as good as killing yourself. Your mm. life's worthless. That's kind of what I got. That's me trying to. I think you summed it up well. So I extract. But the whammy. No, I like the. I like the whammy. The fuck does whammy mean? Who f the fuck cares? I fucking care. Motherfucker. What does any of this shit mean? Death grips is speaking truth, man. Man, death grips is the truth, man. You're clearly not woke enough. I like the production. Of the whole whammy thing was just out of place. I feel like the whammy. You know, like, come on, man. For real, but the production of that. Come on, man. It was, it was again, kind of even that, it was that high pitch kind of spacey vibe that I got. See, I'm already thinking like, if they're going from Money Saw to this type of production, what is the ne next album going to hold? We're going to get fucked in the ass backwards, man. Oh, man. I'm already getting fucked in the ass right now. Shit. Push me swing into tomorrow. Yeah, I fuck with that track. That's fucking dope. But we fuck with it so much because of the drum bass. The drums are sick. Mm. And the the fucking that, that oh, thing. Oh, 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 that thing. The fucking like the real heavily fucking fucked with vocals. And then the third one is the ding, ding, and you have it all laced together. Oh, that was fucking sick. It's very nice production. Oh man. Once again. Oh man, that shit was dope. But um, vocally, again, didn't really catch it. But I liked it vocally. Why? Just liked it. All right. <laughs>
Best track in the album. Tell him! Best track in the album. That's fucking crazy. It felt like I was in the future. Robots were taking over. I was hiding and shit. But they were killing motherfuckers. Holy shit, man. That was fucking dope. I feel you, man. It was such a cinematic Ooh. track, man. It was. Like, like you said. So grand. You can imagine that in a movie, in a real epic fucking moment of the movie. Right. Like the turning point of fucking shit going wild. Have we, have we heard? Has Death Grips been used in any movie soundtracks? Probably. I feel like it could be, man. It probably has. No, I mean like 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 big ones. Yeah. I, I wouldn't surprise me if it has. And we just didn't Fuck, know. Fuck, man. Best track so That's far. dope. There. And the drums again. Wait. Did I booty? I'm bouncing, 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 I'm b
Ah! I don't care that about that one. As yeah. Much. Me either. That one was... The second half was better, but the first half was just... See, I find that with a lot of these tracks, it's the electronic sounds in the background that capture a lot. And you know the... the... <laughs> like he went... It started falling. <laughs> Man, maybe it heard me and was like, oh shit, it's my time to shine. Yeah, I wasn't feeling that track very much. Probably one of the most lackluster ones. But like I was saying, the electronic sounds, if I love them, it's probably going to make me love the track more. And there it didn't. Was this an 80s song? Not gonna leave you. Not gonna go away. Not gonna. She's the one. I went to the mountainside. Shoot a pussy through your chest, you die. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. It's dangerous. The way to go though. That is interesting. That's one of the most safest and repetitive and uninteresting tracks, and it finishes the album for me. I quite liked it. But I do agree, the, the hook was used too much. Yeah. I reckon they should have fucked around with more sounds and less hooks. Yeah. Interesting. Didn't Don't usually hear a lot of those types of tracks. It was Death weird for, for the money store to be so chaotic to go to this album where there's still a lot of huge different sounds, but the chaos is gone. There's not as much chaos in this album. I think it's gone, but it's, it's minimized. Oh. The only chaos think. that's there is in his voice and in some of the sounds he's using. But in terms of like the way that the album sort of flows and the beats that are sort of like... Everything was like on beat and sequenced pretty much on this album. Right. When we first heard it, we're like, whoa. Mm. It's everywhere, but this isn't so much everywhere. That's no. alright. That's not a bad thing. It's just no. evolving. It's changing. I, exactly. Like, I, I quite enjoyed a lot of this album, but there's definitely a lot of this album that I was bored by, too. But that's the same, like, I feel like when I did the Money Store, at first I was like, eh, when I did Ex-Military, I was like, eh, but I've gone back to those albums, and I quite like those albums now. So it's probably going to be the same for this one. Maybe. But, but um, fucking Deep Web's definitely the best track. And also, I fucking loved uh, Black Dice. Black Dice is fucking dope. Well, this is, this is my mm. favourite album from them so far, upon first listen. Mm. I've enjoyed this the most, and maybe that's just because we've already experienced Death Grips twice before, so we're more... We're not shocked by what we're hearing. We're still confused a lot of the times, but... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I guess you're right in a way. I think the Money Store definitely is the one that... It's probably the best place. I think I, it's kind of... I don't know. Starting on... Because X Military definitely had structure to it. It's kind of like they started with a bit of structure, then they went to like having no structure, and then they went back to having structure again. Well... I know, like, I still, I still fucking love a lot of this album. Like I said, don't know a lot about the fuck they're saying. But uh, I fuck with all the sounds. I, I think the one thing I, I, I could wish upon this album more is if they kind of did what they did in the Money Store and added more sounds. Like, sure, they're fucking around with all, all these new electronic sounds, but it felt like with a lot of this album, like, there was like one or two or three certain areas of the song and it kept repeating and going back in between those songs. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I th like, but I think that's a welcome change because we've heard we yeah. the chaos. We got it. We got the chaos. But I liked the chaos. And they could still use the chaos, but with a different sound. But maybe this is what they want to do. I don't know. I, I feel like... After hearing the main store and hearing No Love Deep Web, I would have loved to No Love Deep Web instead of having repetitive sort of beats going back and forth between each other, which seems to be the vibe of this album, having more implemented electronic sounds in the background there, which should sort of change up the switches between the two. I think I, I think after hearing the chaos, I want the chaos, hmm. and I didn't get the chaos here. So I well, still like the album. I'm still going to go back to it more and find out more about it. But I definitely think the Money Store is more my style. Alright, well, 
that's Death Grips, uh, No Love, Deep Web, third Death Grips review we've we've done. Exactly. So make sure you watch the other ones if you haven't seen them. Which one should we review next? Well, obviously the next one. Well, this, there's five more, and the government plates is technically next, but should we do government plates? I've never heard anyone comment that. Or should we yeah, do the power of the Surely, if one's bad, then we can skip. We'll see, it. we'll see how you guys comment. Yeah. We'll see Alright, Jungle Beats, baby! Jungle Beats! <gasps> Where's my snare? I can't hear my snare in my headphones. Subscribe, motherfucker. Want a beer, have no fear, comes and goes, man, it's here, no one knows, feels so weird when it blows through my bones, I got a dose for it. Want to know more, cause it's about what I got to show for it. I want some more of it. I want too much.